courthouses have their own particular uh, ambiance. Uh, I, to a great extent, grew up in the Fountain County Courthouse because my grandfather and mother were county officials in Fountain County, Indiana. And I spent a lot of time in that courthouse growing up and then uh, eventually got up here and uh, in January it'll be 40 years uh, basically operating in this courtroom. Uh, my name is Robert Hall, I go by Bob. Uh, I grew up about five miles south of here in the adjoining county. I tend to refer to it as well as kind of like uh, macular degeneration of the retina. Uh, basically it is scar tissue on the retina. The scar tissue tends to expand and uh, the farther it progresses uh, the less you can detect. Assistive technology is self-defining in that it is a method by which technology is utilized to provide assistance to a person who needs it, whether it is vision, whether it is for mobility, uh, very, whether it is for hearing, uh, any type of assistance and the technology keeps progressing and getting better and better. My purpose in uh, looking to Indata was to utilize it as an additional resource in the entire toolbox of resources that everybody should look for and build a toolbox that uh, works for uh, their personal issues that they have in terms of either vision, mobility, hearing, whatever the issue may be. Now, I mean, obviously, as far as I'm concerned, the assistive technology is the thing that keeps me going because without it I wouldn't be able to do the things that I do and I like doing the things I do. The Indata Project is part of Easter Seals Crossroads and Easter Seals Crossroads is a comprehensive disability service organization. A lot of times people are intimidated by assistive technology and they're afraid of it and that's what Indata's purpose is, is to kind of hold your hand and help you through that process. We have people that will travel all over the state and bring out a device and show you how to work the basic features. They'll spend about 20 minutes with you and get you comfortable with using that and then you get to keep the equipment for 30 days so you really get your hands on experience with that piece of equipment. When I lost my vision very suddenly, within four days' time, I went from normal vision to first not being able to read billboards on the interstate, then not being able to read street signs when I was driving, and then um, a few days later not being able to read my textbooks in school, or any books. So the assistive technology that I've gotten really saved my life. I am Jackie Spiker and um, I live in Richmond, Indiana, and I am a retired pastor and also now am the director of the Older Blind and Visually Impaired program at the Independent Living Center of Eastern Indiana. I lost my vision in 2001, and at that time had no clue what there was available out there to help me. I was in graduate school at the time. Assistive technology can be, to me, tools that can help a person, in this case, who is blind or low vision, to be able to basically get their life back and do the things they always used to do and maybe either can't do anymore or have great difficulty doing because of the disability. The things I couldn't do when I, right after I lost my vision, I couldn't read a cookbook. Um, I couldn't read my measuring cups. Uh, couldn't read directions, cooking directions on the side of a box. Just, there were a lot of things that right away I could not do. But with the CCTV that I got and with the bioptic glasses that enlarged things, getting large print books, all of these things, now I can do anything I want. I basically, I forget that I have a disability because I've got all the tools I need to be able to just continue living my life the way that I was before. 
Assistive technology is really wonderful for people in a certain stage of their life who are trying to maintain their independence. Um, there are many devices out there that can assist people if they're struggling to read their mail or their medication bottles. There's magnifying equipment in our library. Um, if they're having trouble with hearing loss, we have amplified phones. Uh, we have amplified devices that will allow you to use around the dinner table and just many, many other devices that can assist people in being more independent.